Welcome to episode 51, the beginning of our tribute videos. In episode 50 for the reflection of 40 through 50, I explained what the tribute videos was uh, going to be about. These are going to be uh, videos, uh, episode 50 through 60, of uh, tributing projects that my grandpa has made. And uh, I'll be making the same ones that he has made, and I'll show off the ones that he has made. So I'll just uh, try to make one uh, that looks like what he has made. So in today's episode, I'll be making this cool looking deer thing. It's uh, quite simple actually. It's just a plaque that has a, a deer cut out of it. So that'll be today's video. As you know from uh, the video on how I got into scrolling, uh, my grandpa, uh, he had a scroll saw. And uh, if you want to know more about how I got into scrolling, just check out that video. It's 40-something, uh, but uh, this is just tributing projects that he has made, and I'll be uh, recreating them. So let's get started. Today's video we're going to be making this uh, nice looking deer thing on this uh, just wood plaque. So uh, I'll show you how to do that. Start out by uh, getting a wood plaque. And in this case it's a bass wood plaque. It's from a Walnut Hollow. It's uh, I got it at Michael's Craft Store. And uh, I can't, I couldn't find any at Walmart but I'm sure uh, any other craft store that deals with uh, crafts you can probably find one of these blanks. So this is what I'm going to be using. This is the original pattern that my grandpa had used. He didn't use the outside of it. That's just like a, I guess you could cut it out. But this is the uh, what we're going to be working on, just the inside of it. So uh, what I did was I made a copy of it so I wouldn't have to use his original pattern. So here's the copy of it. And uh, I said uh, his pattern, he didn't create any patterns that I'm aware of. He just took them out of, you know, magazines and whatnot that uh, he has subscribed to when he is alive and did scrolling. So this is the uh, pattern we're going to be using. So what I'll do is I'll just take my uh, little box cutter knife or anything to cut out the pattern. And I'll just cut out around the area that's going to be uh, applied to the surface of the plaque. So I got it cut out. So to apply the pattern to the uh, piece of basswood... I'll just again do the uh, same process as usual. If you uh, aren't familiar with it, just look in the past videos and I, I give a little bit of instruction to it. It's just going to be uh, using some masking tape on first to help peel up the pattern. Then I'll put the pattern down with spray adhesive. And then I'll go back on top with some clear box tape to help prevent burning. So I'll get the uh, pattern on there and I'll be right back with you. Alright, so now I have the uh, pattern applied to the piece of uh, plaque here. Again, see a uh, and again I just use the uh, masking tape on first the pattern and then the clear box tape and I uh, put the pattern uh, relatively in the center of it to give it the best look so now what I can do is uh, go ahead and do the entry holes and I'll be right back with you alright I got the uh, entry holes on there now we can go over to the scroll saw and uh, start cutting it out already over here at the scroll saw uh, I uh, chucked up uh, number 5 ultra reverse tooth blade in here because that's a little bit thicker of a wood so uh, let's get started cutting.
Alright, we're off the scroll saw now and we can uh, go ahead and peel up the uh, pattern. And with the uh, masking tape on there first, it should be pretty easy to peel up. So there we go. So uh, turned out pretty good so far. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and sand it so it's a nice smooth surface. And uh, if you remember from the uh, original one that my grandpa did, he uh, painted it. And uh, well, to me, I think since there's a bark on the outside, painting it would uh, make it a little weird looking. But uh, I'm just going to give it a clear coat instead of painting it brown. Even though it won't have a shadow on the back, you could add like a backer to it, but I think it'll look fine like this. So, so I'm just uh, using this quarter sheet sander like usual. I got the sanding done and uh, what I'm going to do next is actually a step that I think would uh, benefit you the most because uh, the bark on this sometimes it's uh, real loose and whatnot. so what I'm going to do is just take a, a brush of some sort and brush along the outside of it to uh, remove anything that could fall off later and uh, the clear coat that I'll put on should uh, protect it to keep it all together and whatnot like that so that it doesn't get loosened up in the future so if you get out all the loose things that could possibly break off easily it shouldn't break off as much later on and uh, be careful that you don't break off a huge chunk as well you know you want to have the bark there so it looks good so that looks all right and uh, removed a little bit of this uh, material here so I can uh, shop back that up and then uh, go on with the process Next thing I'm going to do now is go ahead and burn in the back of it. What I'm going to use to do the uh, little burning in the back of it that I do for all my projects to uh, sign it so uh, you know, no one can steal it from me if you sell it. Uh, just this little uh, wood burner pen you can get from Walmart for about 10 bucks or maybe even cheaper if you're lucky. So I just sign it so uh, it identifies it's mine. Uh, not quite heated up yet, but I'm also going to write on here tribute project that way I know that uh, it was a project that I made in a video. Oh, it's marked as TP. So there's the uh, burning in the back of it. So the next step for this is again just make sure you have all the uh, loose stuff off the bark of it. Make sure all the uh, it's all sanded and the frizzles are off. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and give it a clear coat now. Clear coat I'm using is a Krylon clear acrylic. You can buy it at Walmart for about four dollars. And I like this stuff because it dries pretty fast too. And that really brings out the grain. This bass wood looks nice. I don't recall ever cutting it before. If you uh, know the uh, DCSSW logo, that bark uh, plaque is actually pine. That really looks nice. I'll give you a better look at it here. And that really uh, darkened it up a little bit. 
I'll uh, flip it over and do the other side, give it a couple coats, especially on the bark, that way it uh, stays in together and all that so it doesn't fray off in the, the future. And then it'll be uh, pretty much done. So there is the final product. Hope you enjoyed this video of the deer plaque as part of our tribute projects number one. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, be looking for the next few tribute projects we'll be doing. And um, see you next time on the Country Scroller. I'm Dylan. And I'm Dustin. Thanks for watching.